Hi, everybody. Shalom to my Hebrew scholar, brothers and sisters, comrades. This is Regina Ruth. Hi, family. I know you haven't seen me in a while, but I have been in the war. If you do not know that we are in a war, I would in love tell you to please wake up because we are in a war. And it is a revolution. And I am both grieved, so grieved at my African little brothers, my African big brothers, my African sisters, just to name a few, George Floyd and Breonna Taylor, Trayvon, I have not forgotten. So many have been slain. And the sad part about it is many of the people that have slain these people call themselves people of the way. And you might ask me, what do I mean by people of the way? Christians. Yes, Christians. But before I address that, I came here today to blow the trumpet. Welcome to our third annual Blow the Trumpet. It is an honor and a pleasure to know that I have a creator God that has infinite intelligence, that I have the creator, his spirit, the true living God living inside of me. My daughter was saying that she was gonna sing, Jesus loves me, this I know. And if I was going to sing it, I probably would say, Yeshua HaMashiach loves me. This I know. Because I don't really like the European's word. Because, believe it or not, some have a different Jesus. But I'm going to talk about that later. What I want to do now is I want to blow the trumpet by just reading where that came from so that you can understand why we are blowing the trumpet. We are blowing the trumpet because it is a solemn time. It is a time of war. And before I do that, I think I want to read Ecclesiastes. See? Ecclesiastes, that's three, right, Sister Pam? Yes. Sister Pam, Ecclesiastes yes. three, please. Um, I don't know if you can find that for me, please. And um, we are meeting together. This is the first time we have met Ecclesiastes in so three. long. Ecclesiastes three. Um, do you have it? If you have it, can I see your Bible? Because I'm having a problem finding it. What's the, what's the scripture? Sister? Ecclesiastes three. Ecclesiastes 3, that is what I am looking for. What does it say? A time for everything. Oh, yeah, a time for everything. Mm -hmm. <laughs> a time for everything. Look, I have it. You okay, it. can I see it, please? Great. Okay. Hear this word of the Lord. There is a time for everything and a season for every activity under the heavens. A time to be born and a time to die. A time to plant and a time to uproot. A time to kill 
and a time to heal. A time to tear down and a time to build up. A time to weep and a time to laugh. A time to mourn and a time to dance. A time to scatter stones and a time to gather them. A time to embrace and a time to refrain from embracing. That's what we're doing in social distancing. We are refraining from embracing because that's what time it is. A time to search and a time to give up. A time to keep and a time to throw away. A time to tear and a time to mend. A time to be silent and a time to speak. A time to love and a time to hate. You who fear the Lord hate evil. And the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom, brothers and sisters. So it is a time to hate. It is written. It is a time for war. That just like the war that we are in, it is a time for it. And it is a time for peace. This is the word of the Lord. Alhamdulillah.